Hey everyone, look what I got today. This is a computer video card, NVIDIA, uh, chip style, GTX 590, uh, EVGA is the uh, manufacturer of this one. Um, I needed a video card pretty bad. I uh, have been using the same one for years and uh, just needed a faster one for gaming and uh, hopefully video and Photoshop use. So, I got it all installed. It's kind of dark, you're not going to be able to see it. But uh, it fits in my case okay. Uh, pretty cool light there. I'm going through a reboot process now. And it's not fully set up yet. Um, hopefully it will work out. Not major problems so far. I ran into a little bit of an issue with my uh, pin connectors here. I, it needs eight pin connectors, PCIe 8 pin connectors, and um, I didn't immediately figure out how to use those, and I, um, well, in my power supply I ended up having a spot for, uh, for them, and some cables came with it, and they were split, so it was, there's this it's separation here, you can see that. Anyways, you have to put in these little two-prong plugs first, and then the uh, the six-prong plug. That's how you get them to fit. So I struggle with that a little bit. It may seem obvious, but uh, card's so expensive, I don't want to break it. Right? I want to be careful. So I'm running it with uh, Cooler Master's 700 watt power supply, which is the the minimum watt. So I uh, that's that's an area of concern so far. We'll kind of monitor that. The card says it will support that amount of watts. Uh, we'll see. You may have to upgrade the the uh, power supply later today. Um, going through the reboot now. When I first booted up the computer, it didn't immediately recognize any card at all, which is concerning. But uh, so I uninstalled the old drivers. Installing the new drivers, even though my old drivers seem to have newer versions than the CD so we're just going to start new. You can see the card fit pretty well in my case. This is the Corsair, I think it's the 600T case, a mid-tower. It's a mid-tower but it's really big. Now it's going through, uh, going to reinstall. It's putting on version 267.91 I added a 2.8 version, 2.80, so I know what's going to happen. They're going to install these. It should recognize it, but I'm going to have to reinstall a lot more drivers after this, so it's going to be a while. So, stay tuned. So, a little bit more details about my machine here. This is uh, the case and a lot of the parts that I originally set out to use uh, when I was building a NAS server. And the NAS server failed with Linux, didn't really uh, didn't really like it, it was ultimately too much to manage. Uh, so I've taken the case and taken the power supply and and the motherboard and the chip. The problem point I'm having I will have with this computer is probably going to be my chip. It's a new chip, it's the 32 nanometer technology, but you probably can't see that. But the chip is an i3 uh, chip, so it's uh, one of the slower uh, chips. But in my favor is that the chip speed is pretty fast. 3.2, 3.3. Uh, speed so you know uh, I'm making it up for maybe not the fastest i7 or i5 chip or, or many cores rather uh, with the higher clock speed uh, what else I got a so what then what I did is I scrapped my parts from my old computer put in a, my older video card put in my TV tuner down below Put in obviously some hard drives. Got a lot of hard drives, like six, six in here. Love the uh, love the storage. I get most of them 
let's see, probably four of them or three terabyte drives. And then I bought some new memory. I got 16 gigabytes of memory. And I'll tell you, as always, the thing to do <laughs> to get a speed increase is buy the memory. Memory is relatively cheap nowadays. And the 16 gigs was just seems like a lot, but really it wasn't that much dollars. And I could tell automatically that in Photoshop and especially Lightroom, my Lightroom program is just astoundingly better to use so that's pretty cool and I had some troubles with my Windows 7 install and using my existing uh, install on my new components ultimately I couldn't restore or use that copy I had to basically reinstall from scratch so that was kind of a drag but now that it's done I'm happy I did because it's clean and I got rid of some system problems I was having so that's where I'm at today and hopefully the continued installation of this video card will uh, make something better make it a lot better